Hello viewers, have a good day. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how to this relationship between land surface temperature that is LST with MDVA that means knowledge dependence hydration index. It is quite important to show the relationship between the MDVA and LST. So this is my study area and I have several MDVA as well as the LST temperature for the study area. So this is first one 2004. 21 i want to assign the color of ndvi so go to properties and within, the, within this trace go to color ramp click on drop down menu and select from here so for the ndvi i want to select i want to select this one then click on apply and ok so this green color showing is the vegetation cover and the deep blue showing the water bodies ok so similarly I actually already did 2021 then 2001 then 1991 ok similarly this is the lens surface temperature 2021 and go to properties and I will assign the color this one red and green so this is the lens surface temperature of 2021 similarly I already did 13 1 as well as the 1991 ok so here I want, to, I want to mention one thing the red color showing the higher lens surface temperature and in green color showing the lowest or lower uh, then surface temperature as you can see here highest is 24 degrees Celsius and lowest is 18 and similarly you can see each and every year the highest and lowest temperature the question is that how I already prepared this LST and NDVA so for that you can see my previous tutorial I have already uploaded how to calculate or how to prepare land surface temperature map in QGIS as well as in ArcGIS I have already uploaded in my channel as well as, as well as how to prepare the NDVA map that is that also you can see from my channel so now I want to mention the relationship between the NDVA as well as the this uh, land surface temperature okay so for the establish the relationship or sphere sphere sun correlation so at first you should go or open the arc toolbox you can see here this is the arc toolbox click here and you can see this arc toolbox and from this arc toolbox go to data management tool click on the plus icon and from this data management tool go below and from this sampling you can see here create fish net okay so at first click on this create fish net then new dialog box will open and here you select the output feature class ok so click here and I want to out, I want click here and go to your folder location where you want to uh, save your data so i want to go desktop i want to create one new folder that is nd vi lst relationship okay so here i want to save my data okay so that means here i want to mention the folder location okay then write simply write fishnet LST you can write LST and DVI okay then click on save then second one template extend click drop down menu and select the layer okay so when you select your study area so uh, your extend automatically select here go below don't do anything from here you just go number of rows number of columns so I want to take 10 number of rows 10 number of column because my study is very small okay so if your study is uh, moderator 
large you can you should increase the number of rows number of columns as 50 70 100 as well as okay then go to the geometry type select this polygon then just click on ok so now here the fishnet process will uh, perform and after that we'll do the, the next step okay process done so if i uncheck then you can see my study area okay and as well as if i select this hello so now you can see the fish net okay as well as the fish net sample point here okay so these are the points actually within this study area so after doing this next step is go to the special analysis tool and from this special analysis tool go extraction and from this extraction you can see here extract multi values to point here the thing is that i want to the logic behind that is the point that means you can see here this point this point this point this point and if i zoom it you can see this point actually located within a pixel so this is a pixel so from this ndvi this pixel showing the you can see uh, from the ndvi this is a water body so water body means this is uh, uh, this is the area which actually not a vegetation cover pixel similarly if i go and lst that means if i uncheck all of this thing ndvi then now you can see the first LST is actually showing the higher LST because it's showing the radar. Okay, we know that red will showing the higher land surface temperature there. So automatically when I perform this extract multi values to point, then what will happen? The values of N, uh, LST as well as the values of NDVI both will taken. So similarly, this way all the values actually taking from this fish net. So after the taking these values, LST as well as the NDVI, we can perform the pair cells correlation. So this is the logic behind the or method or the function behind the relationship showing the NDVI as well as the LST. So go extract multiples to point, click here. Then click this drop down menu, select this fishnet LST and divide level. Then input raster. So if I click this drop down menu, the all four NDVI as well as all four LST values will, uh, our raster value is appear. So I want to select everyone. But if you do only one, that means only one year LST and one year. Uh, Lens surface temperature, then you can select only one LST as well as one NDVI. Okay, here I have multiple, that is why I'm selecting each and every one. After that, just you click this OK and wait for a few minutes to complete this process. So process completed, if I go to open activate table, so now we can see NDVI 21, 11, 1, 19, similarly LST 21, 13, 1 and 91. So all the LST value as well as NDVI will already uh, extracted from the study area. Now, now what I'll do, you can see here some sample which actually uh, beyond my study area okay so i now i want to clip my study area as well as the only all those uh, you can say point which actually covering within this my study area so for that go to the con analysis tool and here you can see extract and you can see clip so open this clip function click drop down menu select this fishnet lst uh, NDVI level, then clip feature 
So select here my study area. Okay. Then select your output. So just click here and you can see here in the relationship. This is my file and simply write here study lst ndvi okay then you can click here save then click on ok okay now if i go open attribute table you can see the values okay so only those values which actually within this my study area now if i uncheck the previous one now we can see the values only within this my study area okay now i will do the relationship between lst and ndvi so how i'll do that so just select the study lst and ndvi click here go to open attribute table and within this table if i go this table option just click here then go to the create graph now within this window you can see here vertical bar so click on this drop down menu select scattered plot then layer should be study lst and this layer then y field and x field so click on this y field and select lst 2021 so you can see here these are the lst value these are the uh, the temperature variation and now select the x field as ndv 2021 both of these it should be same here then we can establish a relationship okay now we can see lst as well as ndvi actually showing here okay fine now we can reduce the width okay as well as the other thing then go below add click here the new function so from function type select the train and data so that should be scatter plot now we can see the trend line so from here you can select any color okay then go to the next here you can see the title so you should write this title like correlation correlation between LST and NDVI 2021 okay as well as you can see here so graph is in not needed so left and right axis you can rewrite this is LST 2021 similarly bottom NDVI 2021 it is now showing quite good look looking now just click on this finish okay so after that what you will do just click here now you can see there is a two option on a save and there is a export okay so basically we will do export and here you can see the format type so you can select the jpeg file format and you can also select this png png is suitable for the uh, prepare the output okay so select png then click on save and you should assign your folder location where you want to save so i want to save this in my study in my folder that is the lst ndvi 2000 21 so then click on save so if i go to my uh, folder then i can see my output result if i go click here so this is my result if i click it you can see this is my correlation between lst and ndvi 2021 so close it again go to the main menu so i can or you can do modify that means i actually prepare 2021 lst and ndvi so i can also change it 
or I can park from from 2000 uh, you can see here 20, uh, 11 1 and 99 so I want to mention again so close it then click here okay just click here go to properties okay now again go to the scattered plot okay now you can see here this is the x field you just change x field as n divided by 2021 sorry uh, lst 2013 i think most probably it is okay 2020 uh, 2001 as well as n divided by 2001 then click on apply now we can just see the already the correlation already changes. So